most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Einig, physical therapist. And together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Brad. Bob. Today we're going to talk about different lumbar supports, right? Right. Stuff you can buy, stuff you can make, stuff you can whatever in your own yeah. mind. <laughs> you need to know when you hear that word lumbar support. First of all, this is your lumbar back, and right. this is what we want to support. If you're having back pain, oftentimes you need a lumbar support. It's going to give you comfort, particularly if you have pain with seated position. Also, Brad, I want to make the point, though, a lot of times people say lumbar, but actually sometimes it feels better if they put it a little bit lower over the sacrum. Sure. Yeah. That's where I like mine. Well, yeah. Is, now he's getting so, technical. Well, I am. But it's just <laughs> that you may want to go lower than the belt line sure. sometimes. Sure. Yep. Yeah, you, you want to experiment. Okay. So. Sure. Absolutely. And we can get into that more you as we show it. you want me to it. sit or you want to sit? I have a seat, Bob. Okay. This will work good with your shirt. Now, now this is... I've got four or five different lumbar supports you can use, and actually there's a lot of them. Brad. Right, you you know you can just take a towel roll like I have here. I've got red tape wrapped around it, and you're just going to put that. I think it's a good way to start, Brad. Sure. See, one you can see how much thickness you like, right? Because th this is one that's fairly thick, wouldn't you say? Yep. Yeah. And I, again, I like it to have it a little bit lower, but that would almost be too much for me. Yep, too much. But and, and for some people, they would like it. Sure. They might like it more in the lumbar area. Right, and the reason we use a towel is because it doesn't cost you anything. Right. So if you spend 20 bucks on one, you find out you don't like it, maybe they'll take it back, maybe they won't, then you, you know, to try to get the a right one. A towel is definitely the place to start, and then you can get something more permanent once you see what How thick, thick it is, yeah. yep. Here's another one. This is a kind of a flat one. Now, I use one like this, and I like it quite a bit. And it's got to be a dense material yeah. and sit back in there. Those are the ones we actually give away right. in our clinics because uh, we get them for cheap and, and we can... It's a long you know, story. It's a long story, yeah. <laughs> but so, but yeah. I, I think also as a point, Brad, quite often I've found people that tend to be in the throes of back pain, if they're really suffering, a lot of times they like a thicker one at that time. Sure. Uh, yep. And if you're not, if you're just doing more preventative, then usually thinner. That's just my feeling. Sure. And one thing for sure is when you use it, it should make your back feel better right now. Yes. Otherwise, if it makes it hurt, it's not the right one to use. Right. Good point. Uh, here is our, our traditional uh, lumbar support. A lot of times they're round like this. And I like these in some ways because they can get specific to that spot sometimes. And, you know, and they squish up so they're kind of nice. Yep. Again, I, I prefer it lower. Usually, right yeah, there. usually it is a little that bit one lower. That feels pretty good. So this is a McKenzie one. Right. Um, for a brand name, if you're looking at it, I'll put the name up. But um, you can get it from OPTP. Yep. But uh, These some do of them come inflatable too, right? Right, yeah. Actually, the inflatable one I had, I didn't like because it would lose air. It was really nice at first, but 20 minutes later, it'd go flat and I'd blow it up and it, it'd continue to do that. It just didn't hold it, huh? Right. Uh, they oftentimes have a strap like this to go around the back of like an office or the chair. car seat or the office chair. Sure. Yep. They oftentimes will fall down pretty much every time you sit down. You need to make adjustments. You'll, you'll know where it feels good. Now, I would also say, Brad, if you're a bigger person, you're probably going to need a bigger support. And if you're a slight person, you're going to need a smaller support. Yep, what that's that say? typically true. Yeah. Um, the other thing, homemade one. I don't know if you can put a link on to how to make sure. one of these out I'll of a, a link. Yep. Yep, out of a, a noodle. This material happens to be just about the right density, and you can cut a noodle, a pool noodle that you swim with with your kids. Cut it in half with a serrated knife or a, a hacksaw blade, as I used, and that can work well. And the price on those is wonderful. It's actually nice. Yeah, they yeah. Fit well, I, I mean. And you could keep the noodle together, right? Right. You could have a full one if you full need a one, thicker one. And that would give you a thicker one. Right. So Good way to go for cost. And yeah, I think that's a great option. Actually, kind of this one that I made, I like as much as this other one, and I keep it in my car. I switch. I don't just use one because sometimes my back feels like it needs more support. Um, this is another one, and you'll see some lumbar supports. This is a mesh one you can see through, which is nice because it keeps the heat away from your back. They make them solid in a similar shape. Now, this is a real broad support. Um, this one I've used this morning, and I'm okay with it. it it's interesting. Yeah. You cannot get specific with it on a no. level, but it's a broad support to your back, and that may be the thing you want, too. Uh, so lumbar supports, 
is an individual thing. It depends on the shape of your body. And a big thing is the shape of, of, the, your car of the chair, car yeah. seat, or your office chair, and how soft the cushion is on that. If you've got a really soft car seat, you're probably going to need a bigger support. Larger diameter, a little more dense, possibly. I know um, my daughter is in, in a Toyota Corolla. You can talk to the... They, they, oh, yeah, my they daughter's said, in a Toyota Corolla, <laughs> and, and she's actually... We're going to get her a, what is called a yoga back. And I'll put the link to that. It's actually developed by a friend of mine. And what that is, once you sit down, Brad, sure. That actually is a, it's a full piece of foam that goes from here, and you just sit in your seat. It goes all the way up to about here, and it's got two supports on it that you can adjust. So one hits you in the mid back, and one hits you in the low back, and it fills in that scoop of the car. You'll sure. see it. This this friend of mine, Dennis Zaharko, he's an expert on posture. Yeah, he and, does. Uh, you, actually, if you make it, if you call an order, yeah, he, he'll you'll speak to him. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he'll talk to you about the posture thing. But that's the only thing that worked for my daughter in that car because again, it's so scooped out. And I was reading also somebody that owned a Prius; they had the same problem mm -hmm. that they they really liked the yoga back. Yeah, so they don't make car seats all the time for specific. They make a, they they give us business, Bob. Yeah, they do. I mean, there's people that literally their car seat causes their back pain. Right. I yeah. mean, and that's what's happening with my daughter right sure. now. Sure. So, mm -hmm. all, all right. right. Well, good good video, Brad. Nice yeah. job. And then you know, if anybody's still watching anymore, it's kind of a long one so far. You can watch one of our next future videos on how to adjust your car seat if you have adjustments. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. That's a request. All right. Thanks. We got to mention it. that. Yeah. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>